Emily, how good of you to come, after all this time. Good of me for a brother's funeral at a bloody house party. No more pain. I'm overdosed on bloody platitudes as it is. Besides, you're late. We buried him this morning. The flight was delayed, there was nothing I could do. Don't worry, I don't think he noticed your absence. Are you high? <laughs> Just a little of Fraser's local anaesthetic. Do you want some? Later. Tell me about the funeral. The funeral? What's this? What's the time? It was wet. There were wreaths. It's some kind of radio, isn't it? What's it for? Cosmo, what is it? There was a terrible storm, you know, the night he died. Promise me. Promise me. Please promise me. Oh, for pity's sake, Cosmo, promise me! Whatever Fraser had pumped into him had certainly done the trick. He spent his last months in the library studying that appalling old family history. He was obsessed, you know, about that business with great grandfather. What business? You weren't told. They sorted his papers out two months after he died and found an express wish that all his medals be buried with him. They exhumed the old goat in New Year's Day, 1889. He'd woken up, Emily. He'd woken up and he couldn't get out. Oh, I know how it sounds. But the silk inside the lid of the coffin was in shreds. he torn his fingernails completely off with a scratching, scratching, scratching. It's just a story. Perhaps it is. Not for Felix, though. Felix believed it. Cosmo! 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 You must do this for me! Promise me! And that's why the radio is here. I swore I'd install a telephone line between the coffin and the house in case he woke up. The girl at Aircom thought I was out of my bloody head. Wouldn't do it, no way. You surprise me. Our brother would have been planted ex-directory if it wasn't for Larch. Larch the undertaker? The son. Old man Larch qualified for the staff discount a number of years ago. Son's a mad fella. We used to bung his head down the toilet in school. Kept asking after you. Do you remember him? Hardly. Well, I knew he was a ham radio freak, so I cut a little day with him. 600 quid if he'd fix Felix up with a CB radio in his coffin. He was most obliging. So you mean this thing is connected to Felix's grave? Not that one. That one, you feckin' idiot. So the radio in the grave is transmitting? Constantly, darling. As long as the battery holds up. God. On this channel? I switched over. The silent grave show was freaking me out a bit. You laugh. I started imagining I was hearing, well, movements. Christ, I need a drink. I could actually become attached to the little machine. There's such a diversity of people who tune in. Listen. Break on one one for a copy. Come back over. Break on one one for a copy. Come back. Roger that. You got the blue jay. Take it to the basement, good buddy. Here we go. Blue jay. Blue jay. Where's he got to? Blue Jay! Hey! Something's going on. Somebody's screaming up on channel 31. Not saying that, just screaming. No. Cosmo? It can't be. What channel is the coffin tuned to? 31, but it can't be Emily. Felix is dead. Here. 
What's that? What? Scratching. Scratching? Oh, it's me. Sorry, uh, itchy leg. It can't be. Switch it off, switch it off, switch it off! He's alive! What will we do? There's only one thing we can do. No. Emily. We shall have to go and dig him up. Oh no. No, no, no! No. No. He's down there scratching and screaming. Can't you feel him? Felix! Hold on! We're coming! I can't believe we're doing this. Scoop a leaf, keep digging. There can't be much air in that box. If we don't get to him, he'll be dead again. Did he speak of me? He missed you. We both did. I had to leave. Did you? We were sister and brothers. It wasn't neat. It wasn't... Shh. I think I heard something. What is it? Boo! Ah! Surprise. Large? It's Larch, grab a shovel, man. Be brother's alive down there, we heard him. Me? You <coughs> doped up pricks. You heard me? In my car. On my CB. Damn the man, he's pissed. Emily, get up from there and give us a hand, will you? Uh... 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 I scream well. Don't I? I fooled you, I think. He's completely mad. I was completely mad. Once. Completely mad about you. What? So sorry, Felix. I loved you, Emily. They stuck me down the toilet. But I still loved you. Sorry, who are you? Well, who did you love? Huh? Him. And him. Is it any wonder I'm mad? Any wonder you're all damned? Do you mean to say it was you on the radio screaming, not me brother? If your brother's screaming, sunshine, it's not in this world. I think I'll warm myself a bit before I go up. I'm going to bed. Oh. The radio is still on. Well, turn it off then. Cosmo! You promised! Cosmo? What? Cosmo, listen. No. I said switch it off then. You promised! You promised! Oh, my... God!